In the field of model fine tuning, full fine tuning and LoRa fine tuning are terms we frequently hear. I'll use this video to explain the difference between them. First, we need to understand what model fine tuning is. The essence of model fine tuning is that sometimes we find the model's performance lacking in a specific area, so we use training methods to update it, aiming to enhance its capabilities in a certain aspect. Essentially, it's a modification to the model. Here, we adapt the original model into a new one by training with data. Adjusting the model means altering its parameters, which make up the core of the model. Large models can have billions or even hundreds of billions of parameters, so the quantity of these parameters is massive. These parameters can be understood as a collection of many numbers organized in rows and columns. For instance, a 3x3 three three parameter matrix has nine numbers, though a large model can have billions of parameters. This small example illustrates that fine-tuning involves modifying these numbers slightly. For example, training may change 0.1 to 0.2 or 0.2 to 0.1. This can also be thought of as adding an offset. 0.1 plus an offset of 0.1 becomes 0.2 or 0.2 minus 0.1 becomes 0.1. We can rewrite this as adding an adjustment amount to the original parameters to get the new ones, making this adjustment amount the core focus of fine-tuning. Once we get this adjustment, adding it to the original parameters yields a new model. So, how do we learn this adjustment? Although I showed nine parameters, in reality, large models may contain tens or hundreds of billions of parameters. There are different ways to learn this adjustment. The first approach is to adjust each parameter individually through learning, which we call full fine-tuning. For example, if the model has 10 billion parameters, full fine-tuning involves finding 10 billion such numbers, making it highly complex. But is there a way to fine-tune with fewer resources? This brings us to efficient fine-tuning, known as PFT, with a popular technique called LoRa. Before explaining LoRa, Let's look at the core concept. Imagine we give Lucas a task to write a 2,000 character article. Lucas tends to be verbose, so he includes a lot of repetition, making his article longer than necessary to convey limited information. Although he used 2,000 characters, the core message might only need 100 or 200 characters. Similarly, the parameters learned in a model may also contain redundant information. Even though we may have trained 100 billion parameters, the actual information they convey could be limited. If that's the case, training a model with so many parameters could be a waste of resources. This brings up a critical point. Through fine-tuning, we often aim to amplify certain model abilities while preserving the rest. If we modify too many parameters, we risk erasing other valuable abilities which is known as catastrophic forgetting. In fine-tuning, we want only to adjust the parameters relevant to the specific ability we're targeting. Based on this, let's look at LoRa. Assume we have a parameter matrix with nine entries and notice only one row holds valuable information. If we know the contents of one row, we don't need to learn the rest since they may contain redundant information. For another example, in a sequence like two, Two, for we can derive these from one, one, two by doubling each number. This redundancy shows that we don't need to learn every parameter independently in a three by three matrix. Only the key rows or entries matter. This is the core idea of LoRa. It allows us to avoid learning each parameter individually. Now, let's introduce LoRa's concept. First, we define a matrix. For simplicity, a matrix is a table with rows and columns, like a 3x3 three three grid. In LoRa, we represent the parameter matrix as W, a matrix with many parameters but limited informational value. Using linear algebra, we can approximate W with the product of two smaller matrices, A and B. If W is a 100 by 100 matrix with 10,000 parameters, we could approximate it with A with 100xk 
and B with KX100, where K is a variable we choose. K size affects how much information is retained. Smaller K values mean fewer parameters and, therefore, a lower approximation of W. For example, if K equals 2, A has 200 parameters, B has 200, and their sum, 400, is only 4% of W's 10,000 parameters. Thus, approximating W with A and B significantly reduces parameter count. Setting K equals 1 reduces this even further to 2% of the original size. Laura's core concept is this reduction of parameters by approximating W with two smaller matrices. K, also called rank, is adjustable. Smaller values of K reduce parameters even more, allowing Laura fine-tuning to save both memory and training costs. Typically, we use K values like 8, 16, or 32 in Laura fine-tuning. In summary, full fine-tuning involves learning each parameter individually. In Laura fine-tuning, we approximate W with A and B, learning fewer parameters overall, saving resources in the process.